Welcome to the next Montenegro Tower video. After a few rainy days in mid-May, the sun came back and turned the scenery into a beautiful bright green. And even the Hermann's tortoises came out again to enjoy the weather. Another very long day it comes to an end and it's really the best workout. We have two huge rock piles now and I pretty much cleared up the two walls and now I could start rebuilding and then filling up the gaps again with the small rocks. I enjoyed watching the sun setting over the sea once more and started to clear up more parts of the property the next day. This footage was taken before I had found my gardener who eventually sprayed the weeds and unwanted trees to prevent them from regrowing. You can check out the video in the top right corner to find out more about that. An impressive old tree trunk was hiding for years under a thick layer of ivy. I will find a nice spot for it to be safe as it is very fragile and perhaps even use some epoxy on it in the future. This is the spot where the trunk used to be located and it's all cleared up now. I think that's all I can do for now. I prepared everything, cleared it up as much as I can and next up I will get some help and then we're gonna rebuild it with some concrete to make it very very solid and safe. With the lower stone wall prepared to be rebuilt, I turned my attention to the main stone ruin facade which also had been overgrown for many years and needed a clear up. There's a cute tiny window here. It was completely overgrown by the ivy. The other windows are also barely visible, so I'll probably clean up a bit more of the ivy because it's really a bit too thick. I really like the area in front of the door here. It's an old kind of road pretty much, kind of like in study bar with a old cobblestone and uh, couldn't see any of these stones before. It was completely overgrown with the ivy root and now that it's cleared up, it kind of looks completely different.
step on my to-do list is to clear up the ivy a little bit. As you can see, it's really, really thick. Nobody has been taking care of that ivy for a very long time. There's actually a few beautiful windows. Yeah, you really have to know that there's a window, otherwise you don't really see anything. Yeah, I'm gonna clear up this front and the entire front pretty much. Now we can actually see the windows. It's just about sunset time now, actually. <sighs> Thanks to my amazing new uh, cordless chainsaw, I was uh, pruning my fig tree quite a lot and created a lot of space. It was way too thick and my gardeners uh, advised me to prune it really heavily. And now we've got this complete new area here that we can enjoy. I would like to put a little swing here on the big tree. That tree is really, really thick and will definitely hold a little swing. Ivy was completely covering the entire wall. You could barely see a single rock on the wall. My gardeners also told me I should remove that overlapping part a little bit. Uh, and that's what I've done as high as I could reach with my ladder and my chainsaw. Uh, the very top row of overlapping ivy is still there and it will stay there because it's a great um, protection for the sun. I can't reach it anyway and I don't want to remove it all, but it's kind of a bit like giving my tower a haircut. <laughs> Before I start removing all the rocks, I will trim the fig tree a little bit more. When I get rid of these two, I can remove all the rocks and have one long open space. And you can pretty much walk along the entire tower wall. All of this stuff on top of me here will remain, so we're gonna have plenty of shade left. So I got one step closer to finish everything up here. Um, the entire section over here is clear now and we can see the original stones and tomorrow I'm gonna get rid of the stones here in the middle. That's pretty much the only part that's left. I reconstructed the entire front of the tower and we got so much more space once more. So I'm done for a day, another tough day. It's a lot of physical work right now with all these rocks, but I cleared up the entire section here in the middle. You can see the huge stones that come to light here. They're still a bit dirty. You can, you can actually clearly see which stones were out and could get some rain and a bit uh, cleaner because the ones that I just dug out were uh, really dark. And then I found a bunch of very, very flat big ones. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a terrace over there or a little bit of a, a lookout. I was finding some sort of old uh, border channel. Got this beautiful stone terrace that's coming to light. Now that I cleared up the area a little bit, we can finally check out this little water canal. It's right here. See how long it is? I'm really curious now.
that I'm gonna show you in a second. pretty much dug it up until my uh, future viewing platform that I'm building. I'm guessing it's going below that and then into there. It will uh, collect water when it's raining and that would be really nice for the cats for instance that are uh, living here on the property. I have to check with my light from the phone how deep that uh, hole is going. Let's check it. Now that I cleared up, we can clearly see the hole in the wall here where it's probably connected to. 1st of May is my date where I would hopefully like to have everything ready. The tower, some wooden cabins for uh, accommodation, uh, a swimming pool. Yeah, all of that you can check on the website montenegrotower.com. Pretty much cleared up the entire front now from the tower and it's been a lot of work it took me over three weeks in total i think the last part was like five days now got to mention that i have a telegram group now for the tower as well it's just called montenegro tower so if you're on telegram and you would like to stay in touch on the chat there feel free to join I would like to finish off the video by showing you a little before-after comparison of the tower facade as well as my collection of items that I could find during the cleanup process of the tower and perhaps you can see them in real life once you visit the tower in the future. Until then, have a good one. Bye bye! You made it to the end of the video, that's awesome! Thank you so much! If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well, leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal triplener, then check out the link below.